Hi, welcome you all in my channel. To get perfect knowledge of computer technology, please keep watching my channel. Today, I am going to discuss about some basic terms of computer like hardware, software and firmware. First, I will talk about hardware. Hardware refers to the physical components of a computer or electronic device. It encompasses all the tangible parts of a computer system that you can see and touch. Hardware includes components such as the central processing unit, CPU, memory, RAM, storage devices, example, hard drives and SSDs, input devices, example, keyboard and mouse, output devices, example, monitor and printer, and various other peripherals and internal components. Here are some key categories of hardware components found in a typical computer system. Central Processing Unit CPU The CPU is the brain of the computer, responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations. It's the primary component that carries out the actual data processing. Memory RAM Random Access Memory RAM is the temporary storage used by the computer to hold data and programs that are currently in use. It provides fast access to data for the CPU. Storage devices, these include hard disk drives, HDDs, solid-state drives, SSDs, and other types of storage media. They are used to store data and software for long-term or temporary use. Input devices, these devices allow users to input data and commands into the computer. Common examples are keyboards, mice, touchscreens, and webcams. Output devices. Output devices display or provide information to the user. Examples include monitors, printers, speakers, and headphones. Motherboard. The motherboard is the main circuit board in a computer, connecting and facilitating communication between various hardware components. It houses the CPU, RAM, and other critical components. Graphics Processing Unit. GPU GPUs are specialized hardware designed to handle graphics rendering and acceleration tasks. They are essential for gaming, video editing, and graphics intensive applications. Network interface cards NICs NICs are hardware components that enable computers to connect to networks, such as Ethernet or Wi Fi cards. Power supply unit PSU The PSU provides electrical power to the computer's components. It converts electrical energy from the wall outlet into the appropriate voltage levels required by the hardware. Expansion cards These include components like sound cards, network cards, and graphics cards that can be added to a computer to enhance its functionality. Cooling systems Hardware components such as fans and heat sinks are used to dissipate heat generated by the CPU and other components to prevent overheating. Cables and connectors Various cables and connectors are used to link different hardware components, facilitating data transfer and communication. Now we will read about software. Software refers to the non tangible programs, applications, and instructions that run on computer hardware to perform various tasks and functions. It is a collection of data or code that instructs the computer's hardware on how to perform specific operations, manage data, and interact with users. Software encompasses a wide range of digital entities, including operating systems, applications, utilities, and programming code. Here are the main categories of software. Operating systems. OS an operating system is a fundamental software component that manages the hardware resources of a computer and provides a platform for running other software. Examples include Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. Application software. 
Application software refers to programs and applications designed for specific tasks or user functions. Examples include word processors, example, Microsoft Word, web browsers, example, Google Chrome, spreadsheet software, example, Microsoft Excel, and multimedia players, example, VLC Media Player. Utility software. Utility software includes tools and programs that assist in managing and maintaining a computer system. Examples include antivirus software, disk cleanup utilities, and backup software. Programming software. Programming software consists of development environments, compilers, and interpreters that programmers use to create and debug software applications. Examples include Visual Studio. Python IDEs, and Java development tools. Firmware. Firmware is a type of software that is embedded in hardware devices and provides instructions for their operation. It is typically not user-modifiable and is responsible for controlling the device's functions. Examples include BIOS firmware in computers and firmware in smartphones. System software. System software includes software components that facilitate the operation of the computer system as a whole. This category includes device drivers, software that enables hardware devices to communicate with the OS, system utilities, and performance optimization tools. Middleware Middleware is software that acts as an intermediary between different software applications or components, allowing them to communicate and interact with each other. It is often used in distributed computing and networking environments. Embedded software. Embedded software is designed to run on specialized hardware, such as microcontrollers and embedded systems in devices like automobiles, appliances, and industrial machinery. Open source software. Open source software is developed collaboratively by a community of contributors and is often freely available for use, modification, and distribution. Examples include the Linux operating system and the Mozilla Firefox web browser. Now we will read about firmware. Firmware is a type of software that is permanently or semi-permanently stored in hardware devices, typically in non-volatile memory. It provides low-level control and instructions for the specific hardware it is associated with. Firmware is responsible for managing and controlling the operation of hardware components and devices such as computer motherboards, hard drives, network interface cards, graphics cards, and various embedded systems. Key characteristics of firmware include 1. Permanence Firmware is stored in non-volatile memory, which means it retains its instructions even when the device is powered off or rebooted. This permanence ensures that the device can perform its intended functions consistently. 2. Device-specific Each hardware device or component typically has its own firmware, which is tailored to that particular device's hardware architecture and functionality. 3. Low-level control. Firmware operates at a lower level than the operating system, OS, or application software. It provides the basic control and initializes in routines needed for the hardware to function correctly. 4. Bootstrapping. Firmware often plays a crucial role in the boot process of a computer. For example, the BIOS, Basic Input-Output System, Firmware in a PC's motherboard is responsible for initializing hardware components during startup and loading the OS. 5. Updates Firmware can sometimes be updated by manufacturers to fix bugs, add new features, or enhance performance. These updates are typically provided as downloadable files or delivered through software utilities. Examples of firmware in various devices include Times BIOS firmware. The BIOS firmware in a computer's motherboard provides the initial instructions for hardware initialization and booting the operating system. UEFI, Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, 
has largely replaced traditional BIOS firmware in modern PCs. Times hard drive firmware, hard drives and solid state drives, SSDs, have firmware that manages data storage, error correction, and performance optimization. Times printer firmware, printers have firmware that controls print operations, interfaces with computers and networks, and manages maintenance tasks. Times router and network switch firmware, network devices have firmware that controls data routing, security features, and network management. Times smartphones and IoT devices, many consumer devices, such as smartphones and Internet of Things, IoT devices, have firmware to control their hardware functions and interfaces. Times embedded systems, firmware is prevalent in embedded systems used in appliances, automotive control systems, industrial machinery, and more. In this video this much only. In next video, I will bring something new. So, keep watching my channel and thank you for watching my videos.